put it just around the orifice. Now I feel like in your video it wasn't that. I feel like it was on a paper point. You used to drop it on the at the apex. No, no. That video. Did that change? It changed. Okay. Oh, I did on my on my video. I used to introduce. Okay, I've introduced uh, it with paper points. Yeah. On the last file that was yeah. snug, uh, I've used the Hindo activator mm -hmm. before to throw the sealer around. But pretty much now, uh, with sealer, with carrier based, I've learned. I'm learning because I. I'll be honest. I've yeah. I've probably done. Well, on extracted tooth, maybe two to three hundred carriers, mm -hmm. just to really understand what I'm trying to teach. Mm -hmm. Then I've done it clinically, but probably clinically I've done it like 30, 40 times mm -hmm. because I'm a warm vertical guy. Okay. So I have learned from others that know, and I've tried it different ways, and now I'm just taking sealer and picking it up off the pad, that yeah. blue pad, wherever it is, yeah. and then I just come in the orifice and just streak it around, that's it. Okay. So that is different than my video. Now I'm using this AH plus jet seal. Are you familiar with that? I, I'm familiar with AH26, then yeah. there was AH plus, and there's been different iterations, it's but more AH or less. Is, is that, I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's just what I've always used. It's a Resilon type sealer, I, I believe. Switch to the I, I mean, I don't want you to switch because you took a two day course, but I, th I think you'd love Curb Pulp Canal Sealer. Well, I mean, you, you use it because you believe and understand it. I use it because it's where I, what I've always used. I have no reason other than that. That's why I asked I'd break the switch. I, I would like you to try Curb Pulp Canal Sealer. You can start by trying it today. Right. But I mean, I think you'd love it. Okay. And you can do all your bonding and restorative dentistry with no concerns mm -hmm. about adhesion. Okay. How can I um, do a long canine tooth with a carrier base without getting that large sealer problem? You know, long tooth. That's been a major problem too, is doing a canine. And your your I concern like, is you're getting too much surplus. I'm sealer in there, and I'm drying it off with three, four paper points because I know that that long column just it's just gonna just shoot, you know, a five, six millimeter thing up into a vessel of sealer. Are you putting you're putting in like you I'm used to, or you? So I'm wondering if maybe if I put it at the orifice, I'll get a different. You'll get a different result. Okay. You'll you'll probably see less less surplus. Okay. Yeah. Right,